Should I buy or sell Netflix? The report for Netflix was first published on our website Thursday, January 19, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since January 6, 2023, our system ranks Netflix as a hold slash accumulate, giving it a score of minus 0.880. In this period the stock has had natural movements with a gain of 0.07%. This is an average return of 0.01% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for Netflix our last headline reads, Netflix stock price ended on $326.33 on Thursday after losing 0%. No changes to the price of Netflix stock on the last trading day, Thursday, January 19, 2023. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 0% from a day low at $326.33 to a day high of $326.33. The price has risen in 6 of the last 10 days and is up by 5.47% over the past 2 weeks. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $526.64, and the lowest price was $162.71. Right now the price is 40.04%, or $210.86, below 52-week high and 54.95%, or $385.21, below all-time high November 17, 2021 where the price hit $700.99. The stock lies in the middle of a wide and strong rising trend in the short term and a further rise within the trend is signaled. The current three-month trend indicates a possible 13.53% change over the next three months, with a possible return between 2.62% and 20.36%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 18.86% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 70.97% and minus 14.72%. This equals a price between $91.68 and $269.30 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Thursday, January 19, 2023 Morgan Stanley set price target to 300. On Thursday, January 19, 2023 Morgan Stanley set price target to 300. On Thursday, January 19, 2023, Morgan Stanley set price target to 300. On Thursday, January 19, 2023, Morgan Stanley set price target to 300. On Tuesday, January 17, 2023, Wedbush set price target to 400. From analysts, Netflix stock received a general strong buy rating. The analysts give PE ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been found for Netflix. The Netflix stock holds a sell signal from the short-term moving average, at the same time, however, there is a buy signal from the long-term average. Since the short-term average is above the long-term average there is a general buy signal in the stock giving a positive forecast for the stock. On further gains, the stock will meet resistance from the short-term moving average at approximately $328.09. On a fall, the stock will find some support from the long-term average at approximately $307.74. A breakup through the short-term average will send a buy signal, whereas a breakdown through the long-term average will send a sell signal. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Tuesday, January 17, 2023, and so far it has risen 0.0396%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Some negative signals were issued as well, and these may have some influence on the near short-term development. Volume fell on the last day without any changes to the price. 
This does not cause any direct divergence but may be an early warning and a possible turning point. The very low volume increases the risk and reduces the other technical signals issued. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, sell signal 4 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 7 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 3 days ago. Long-term moving average, by signal 12 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 9 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 2 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 113 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 111 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Netflix On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $290.41 and $289.57. There is a natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, Netflix finds support just below today's level at $290.41. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $289.57 and $268.16. In general the stock tends to have very controlled movements and therefore the general risk is considered very low. However, be aware of low or falling volume and make sure to keep an eye on the stock during the last day, the stock moved $0 between high and low, or 0%. For the last week the stock has had daily average volatility of 2.18%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for Netflix. The price to earnings ratio, P-E ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. Netflix currently has a price-earning ratio of 28.97. This is a relatively normal price-to-earnings ratio and often seen in business with long track record or predictable revenues. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, Netflix meets first resistance at $316.95. If you do not hold Netflix shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn Netflix finds first level of support at $290.41 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for Netflix is strong buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On January 3, 2023 Sarandos Theodore A made an inside buy of 14,127 of non-qualified stock option, right to buy. On January 3, 2023 Whetstone Rachel made an inside buy of 706 of non-qualified stock option, right to buy. On January 3, 2023 Dopfner Matthias made an inside buy of 212 of non-qualified stock option, right to buy. On January 3, 2023 Smith Bradford L. made an inside buy of 212 of non-qualified stock option, right to buy. On January 3, 2023 Haley Timothy M. made an inside buy of 212 of non-qualified stock option, right to buy. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive at a ratio of 89.300. In total, the insiders bought 360,324 and sold 15,500 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $302.45, minus 4.22%. This stock has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. The RSI 14 is 76 and this increases the risk substantially. There is a sell signal from a pivot top found three days ago. Is Netflix stock a buy? Several short-term signals, along with a general good trend, are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity as there is a fair chance for Netflix stock to perform well in the short term. 
Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a hold slash accumulate candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is undervalued. For the trading on Friday 20th we expect Netflix to open up $2.24 and start trading at $318.02. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to